line up with the Word of God. Because these things are against God's Word. It is written in Mark 838. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. This sinful and adulterous generation ask this question constantly in their attempt to make folks ashamed of Jesus Christ and his words. What question is that, Brother Carl? Why do you disciples of Jesus Christ teach and preach against things that the rest of the world has now accepted, but you born-again disciples of Jesus Christ continue to bring it up in our face? Because these things that the world does are against the word of God. Mankind lying with mankind as with womankind is against the word of God. Leviticus 18, 22. Women wear what pertains to men and men wear women's garments, clothes, is against the word of God. Deuteronomy 22, 5. The husband that doesn't love his wife as Christ loved the church or as he loves his own body, is against the word of God. Ephesians 5, 25, 28. Women, the wife, that usurp, seize authority over the man, the husband, is against the word of God. Genesis 3, 16. 1 Timothy 2, 12. The wife that is not subject unto her husband in everything is against the word of God. Ephesians 5, 24. Folks! that worship and serve other gods, but they don't worship and serve the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, whose name is Jesus Christ. It's against the word of God. Matthew 4.4, 4, John 9.38, Romans 16.18. Folks, not resting in Jesus Christ, the Lord of the Sabbath, but continue to sin, is against the word of God. Matthew 11.28. Mark 2.28, John 5.14, Romans 6.1. Folks that dishonor their father and mother is against the word of God. Matthew 19.19. Folks that hate their brother, making them murderers and are angry with their brother without a cause is against the word of God. 1 John 3.15, Matthew 5.22. Fornication. Sex with anyone or anything that is not a male's own wife or a female's own husband is against the word of God. 1 Corinthians 6.18, 1 Thessalonians 4.3. A man that is infeminate, a man behaving like a woman, is against the word of God. 1 Corinthians 6. Nine. Folks that steal and even rob God in tithes and offerings is against the word of God. 1 Corinthians 6.10, Malachi 3.8. Folks that take the name of the Lord in vain, they profess they know God, but they don't do what he says, is against the word of God. Titus 1.16, Luke 6.46. Folks with a proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood like with abortions, a heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that run to do mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies like these Vatican supervised revised version Bibles. He that sows discord, disagreement on my brethren are not only an abomination to God, which he hates, but it is against the word of God. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. As the scriptures say in Galatians 5, 19 through 21. Now the words of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, 
seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revilings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Let up with the word of God. Judgment day is coming and can't nobody stop. Repent and believe the gospel. Amen and amen.